One of my favorite things of all time will always be your storyline with the Big Boss Man. So the hard question here is, yes, Big Boss Man storyline, great yeah. storyline or greatest storyline? Well, uh, I would say that if, uh, and I'm not trying to, you know, please understand, I'm not trying to shift the heat or, you know, disparage anybody, um, just being, you know, realistic and being honest. Um, if uh, the company had not dropped the ball, um, I think it could have been, as far as relatability, I think that it could have been one of, it could have been a really amazing storyline. Yeah, I really think so. I think that, you know, no one doesn't relate to having their, you know, pet stolen and, and then, you know, something so cruel as being fed to them, you know. But when you arrive at the payoff, when you've made the crux of the match, uh, you know, the story, the conflict that has to be resolved, um, you know, the dogs, animals, you know, and you, you, in, in <laughs> every week, you know, since I had, heard the initial pitch i was like we're gonna have highly trained vocally commanded animals you know in this scenario you know and then when you arrive and there's multiple animals with multiple owners that the company waited until that morning of the pay-per-view to contact a local veterinarian clinic to get owners of a particular breed of dogs that then went out and urinated, defecated, and <laughs> fornicated. Uh, and you couldn't even show them on the air nor interact with them. Well, then you've completely hamstrung, you know, the whole thing. You know what I mean? And yeah. um, it's unfortunate, you know, that that that, that happened. You know, but ultimately, you know, for both myself and Ray, Ray Trailer, God bless us all, you know, uh, uh, Big Boss Man, we were we were responsible for taking, you know, crap and making shoe polish out of it. And that's the number one thing you got to do in wrestling. You got to, you know, the show always goes on. And um, even you know, if we, dogs are having sex with each other at ringside, the show still got to go on, right? Yeah, even if dogs are fornicating to the point where the owners are exchanging numbers and addresses for puppy rights in the back, um, yeah, the show must go on. So, oh you know, you, you've always got to just take uh, caca and make uh, shoe polish. Well, he, that was really nice shoe polish. They picked up with a baggie on their hand and picked it up. <laughs> I enjoy uh, it. You know, obviously you were you were knee deep in that and you were dealing with it. But I was knee deep in it, yeah. You're, yeah. you're told one thing, something else happens. I could see being upset because honestly, as time still goes on, you think of vile things the big boss man did. You know, first off, he, he took your pet. That's sad enough. Then he kills your pet. Ooh, that's sad. Then he, then he feeds it to you. Oh, my God. And then now on top yeah. of that, that's your storyline. And then with Big Show, he shows up at Big Show's funeral, you know, tries to drive away in the Blues Brothers uh, car yeah, and pull away a dead his, body. Like, the coffin, yeah. Dude, if, if you're talking about vile people who are characters in history of professional wrestling, not just mo mo what about movies? What about TV? You can't top that. You can't get worse than that. You can't get worse than that. You, you literally kidnap a, a man's dog then feed it to him, you know, and then you uh, show up and hook a chain to the coffin uh, of his his father, uh, dead father, and you know yank it out with a car and drag it down the road. I mean, it's, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, pretty damn terrible. But uh, terrible. It, it's one of the greatest things ever. I don't care, you know. That's why, like in wrestling, you can have a great match. But, you know, some people will forget that match eventually. You cannot forget storylines, especially the ones that you were involved with. Can't forget, you can't forget who these people are. And you can't forget why 
you know, they're trying to resolve the conflict. Yeah. You know, at, at the end of the day, that really is professional wrestling. Is It's not what uh, wrestlers do. It is what sells and motivates you to watch is, you know, who these wrestlers are. And then you, you connect with them. You either identify with them or you know somebody that's like them that you don't like, you know, and then, you know, why, ultimately why, based on the conflict, you know, do you want to see, you know, a wrestler or one wrestler triumph, get justice over the other? And, you know, that that's what's important. And... That's what matters. 